Hello everybody, we're going to talk about GeoGebra, which is a really great program, kind of like Microsoft Word is for English, GeoGebra is for math, so uh, it's a great little program and let's show you how to use it. If you have any more questions about how to get deeper with GeoGebra, just go to this help document uh, that's right there on your packet and it'll tell you how to use every single tool you can imagine, so that's where it is. All right. Let's talk about how we're going to download it. So you just go to geogebra.org and it'll bring up the website and you go to software and then you want to download either the Windows version or the Mac version or if you're using something else you probably know more about computers than me so you know what to do. Don't go to the Windows Store because that's just an app on Windows 8 but uh, I'd recommend using the desktop version. So download one of those and then uh, install it and you'll be ready to go. I already have it installed so let's look at mine. Alright so you have something like this and what we want to do is use the different toolbar uh, options. We're just going to look at these first few right here in the first video. Right here's your menu so you have your typical file menu how to start a new document or open a document or save a document or print uh, your edit menu, um, it's kind of like your properties, and your undo and redo. You also have undo and redo over here in the in the corner. It comes in handy because anytime you make a mistake, you say, oh, I don't want that dot there. You just hit undo and gets rid of it. Or the quick key method is hit control Z. So those of you who like to use a keyboard can do that. All right. Let's go ahead and do something with this. First, um, we have some different views here. We have the algebra view, the graphics view, and there are other views that you can find under the view menu. So I like to bring up the spreadsheet view and some people like to use the computer algebra system view. But we will close that one and close that one. Okay, so that's how you get uh, to your various views is using view. All right, let's uh, make a line. Let's make two different lines. So the first type of line, I'm going to use the input bar, which is down here. I'm going to say y equals 0 0.8 times. So to do times, you use the asterisk button, which if you have a keypad on the side, it's on the keypad. But if not, you have to do shift 8 to do that. That's your multiplication. So 0.8 times x plus, let's do, I don't know, 3 quarters. So 3 divided by, so that's the slash, which is right next to your question mark on the keyboard, or if you have a keypad, you can do that. All right, so you hit enter, and it shows up right here in the algebra view, y equals 0.8x plus 0.75. It already did the 3 divided by 4 for you, and it drew the line right here, so all the points that would make that true, right? All the x and y coordinates that would make this equation true. Now another way to make a line is just to do two points. So I'm going to click right here on this and then it, uh, you see when you highlight and you mouse over it'll actually say what you do. So you select two points. So I'm just going to pick two points, one there and one there just in space and it drew a line for me. And it gives me what those points were that I clicked in right there. Alright so that's two different ways to make a line. Now what I want to do next is find the intersection of those two points. So to find the intersection of those two points, actually before I do that, let me let me hit escape. If I hit escape, see what happens? That goes from the toolbar over to the move tool and that allows you to move things around so I can now move these points that I just put in because they are free. I could also move the line that I put in because I didn't really lock it into something else, another object. So it's also free to move, and I can move this line together with those points just like that. So that's what this move tool allows you to do. All right, the next thing I want to do is find the intersection of those two points and find out what is that point. It looks like it's pretty close to 3, 3, but it's probably not exactly 3, 3. So the way I can do that is click down on this um, icon on my toolbar, and see this little red arrow? It says there's more stuff inside there. So I go look in here, and this it has other things. I don't really use these, but I do use intersect quite a bit. 
So intersect allows you to find the intersection of two points. Let's see if I highlight over here. It says select two objects or click directly on the intersection. So I could click one object and the other object, or I could click directly on the intersection. See, it highlights both of them at the same time. I'll just do this way. I'll click that one and that one. Uh, I could also find the intersection of a axis and a line. So if I do that, you see it just popped right on there because I clicked them both at the same time. And it puts over here in the algebra view exactly what those uh, values are uh, with some rounding error, of course, because uh, it's not exact. But it's at 3.16 comma 3.28, which kind of makes sense. And this one is at 0 comma 0.75, which made sense, right? Because that was my y-intercept. Okay, so that's a little intro to how to use GeoGebra. Um, there's a lot you can do with it, and we're going to do some more in the next video.